na mkaribu tena mkurugenzi msimamizi wa KPNC Geoffrey Mulu Nzioki ameweza kufurushwa na kamati ya bunge inayosimamia masuala ya kawi kufuatia ukosefu wa stakababi muhimu za kiufundi ya Kenya Power Mulu mtazamaji aliweza kufika mbele ya kamati ya kawi katika bunge la kitaifa alisema kuwa kampuni ya Kenya Power inaendelea kupata hasara kufuatia wizi wa kuunganishwa kwa stima humo nchini I was just going to qualify my faculty is saying that the chair we're dealing with a, a very extra, extraordinary situation here. And if we treat it casually, no. then we shall not get anywhere. Absolutely. My view is, and let me say this again, Chair. Mm. If it was in, this is basically what we could call economic sabotage. Mm. If it was in some jurisdictions, mm. such as some in the communist world, mm. such fellas would be rounded up, taken to Uru Park and executed. <laughs> Fortunately, we are not in that kind of situation. My take is this year, and this is my proposal. These guys be told to go back and given a week, because I know if you tell them just go back, it will be a merry go round, which never end. Tell them to go back, give them a specific day to come back with specific answers. If those answers are not satisfactory, we paint everything else and do a special report to, to the house. Uh, or we go to in, to indict them, to indict even of them, uh. including their predecessors. But more importantly, as I conclude, we had, did agree last time that they should be accompanied by the chairperson of the board or at least a member of the board. So that we also get to know who, what, has been, what has been the cause of this turnover of CEOs. Mm. That could be the cause of the problem. Why are CEOs being changed day in and out like clothes in this organization? Who are the forces, the forces behind these, these shenanigans? This is a milk cup. That has, that has been made for too long until it's now crumbling, in fact dying. Chair, you know you are a pastoralist like me. This, are, this has been a milk cow to some people in this country. So we want to know the people behind these faces, because this could be a fucking, Mr. Mr. Chair. We must unmask them. That is the role of this committee on behalf of the people of Kenya. Yeah, thank you. My Honorable Chair, I appreciate you, Honorable Chair and members and uh, our visitors, I'm Dr. Lillian Gogo. I'm the MP for Rangwe constituency and the vice chair of this committee. I uh, got the meeting in progress and uh, from what I'm able to feel, um, of course as we are talking I can see some mischiefs and people are smiling. And uh, of course uh, the mood of the house is such that uh, there is discontent. But this uh, particular committee is uh, going to really work very hard on this case, especially of KPLC. Because there are many, many pending issues that have not been uh, responded to time uh, in, time out, and as uh, already been indicated by my colleague, we have a very, very big turnover of uh, management. And uh, on behalf of the people whom we represent, who are the, the people who have put their responsibility on our shoulders, I should think that uh, this time around is not going to be business as usual. That one you can take to the bank. And when we say we want it done, it's ours, it is going to be done. And we are going to follow it to the letter. I thank you, Chair. Because uh, I think the, the, the acting MD, what they could have done, this is 2018. Uh, 2019, they are answering as if we are asking questions of 2022 audit. That we can agree they pursue. But for 2018, we must Absolutely. get results. What has been done? Even if they did, but it, it didn't work, we should have, have it. be having responses on what they have. But if it is 2022, we can agree they can be pursuing because maybe they work in it. But they must tell us what they did 2018, 2021. I think those are the responses that we need. Yeah. You see, as, as I give my leader, you see it, MD, if you don't have capacity as your team, please hold up and just say we don't have capacity. Order, listen. You know we are, we are examining 18, 19. And you have submitted and did the most current. And when you look the most current, even on the board I said, the following year, 19, 20, you went back, you went from 70 closes to 74. Going back, and you're still pursuing.
The only challenge may be the way we have structured the report. But the truth of the matter is, although the, the, the rate of improvement may be low, but the truth of the matter is the financial status of KPLC is improving. Uh, you, uh, can I uh, answer a few questions? Or? Yes. Uh, um, uh, on the question of uh, shareholding of KPLC, currently the shareholding stands like 51.1% is government and 49.9% is private. That's how the, 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 the structure is currently. Uh, there, there is a question of uh, the causes of uh, this negative working capital, which, uh, which, uh, which is mainly between the year uh, between the year 2020, 2014 and uh, 2017. There was there were a lot of investments. In, uh, as we were anticipating the 5,000 megawatts demand. And therefore, uh, there were a number of credits which were taken at that time to build substations and uh, to strengthen the network in readiness for, for dispatching the 5,000 megawatts demand which was anticipated uh, at that time. However, after, after those investments, the, 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 the 5,000 megawatts uh, was never realized, and therefore KPLC had to carry the burden of, uh, of servicing uh, those credits, and that is what pushed us to mainly to this negative working capital. But uh, from, uh, as I've said, from uh, 2019 to date, 